Now that we've established a definition for enthalpy, we can go through some concepts that relate to it and can be used to test enthalpy. The standard enthalpy of formation, or this delta H with the superscript zero there, is a term that describes the change in enthalpy required to form some compound from its constituent elements when those elements are in their standard states at one atmosphere. Standard state is something you're unlikely to be tested on directly, and essentially what it is, is it's what the compound would like to be at one atmosphere and in a normal temperature. So for example, H2 tends to be a gas at one atmosphere and in normal conditions. And so its standard state would be H2 gas, and that would be the thing that they consider when you're looking at the standard enthalpy of formation of some hydrogen-containing compound. The standard enthalpy of formation can then be used to derive this formula here, which says that the change in enthalpy of a reaction, or the change in the standard enthalpy of a reaction, can be calculated by just looking at the difference between all of the delta H standards of the products and subtracting from that the standard enthalpy of forming those reactants. This is independent of path. It doesn't matter how many steps are involved in that reaction process to get from one place to the other. You just look at the balanced reaction, look at the standard enthalpies of formation of those components, and then you can just calculate the delta H standard for that reaction. That also brings us to another term, which is Hess's law. And notice that this one is looking not at standard enthalpies, but purely just at enthalpies. And so this doesn't need to be in any sort of standard conditions. They don't need to be in standard states or anything like that. The bottom line with Hess's law is that the change in enthalpy of a reaction can be calculated by just adding up the enthalpy changes of each of the steps. In this one, you use stoichiometry. So you'll multiply it by two if a step happens twice. This is unlike your standard reduction potential, which you use in batteries. That's one that you never multiply by stoichiometry. You don't do any stoichiometric multiplication when you're looking at standard reduction potentials with electrolytic cells, for example, or any sort of electrochemical cell. However, with Hess's law, if a step happens twice or three times, you have to multiply that by three in order to account for all the enthalpy changes. And ultimately, if you can figure out the total change in enthalpy of the reaction, that can help you figure out the enthalpies of perhaps an unknown step. Or if they give you a problem where they give you the enthalpies of all the steps, you can use that to find out the total enthalpy change of a reaction. And so these are two very important formulas that you can be tested on that relate to enthalpy.